Julian, thanks so much for joining us. So is it too early to start thinking about Oktoberfest? My pleasure. Not with this wonderful weather, that's for sure. We've been waiting for this day and this weather report to show us uh, what we've all been hoping for all year. Uh, great weather, beautiful, uh, beautiful time raising money for the West Milwaukee Lions Club. So you guys also have the German Showcase Showdown happening. What exactly is that all about? We do. Yeah, we've lined up 22 breweries that are all competing against uh, to be the crown, the local uh, German beer uh, winner, basically. So we'll we'll have a People's Choice Award. The Shepherd Express is joining hands with that, and we're going to crown the best uh, local German beer. So what? we have such a rich history of German beer in Wisconsin, and nobody really focuses on it. So with Kegels in here, we are celebrating our 95th year in business with this wonderful celebration. And what will the winner walk away with? Uh, bragging rights, really. <laughs> uh, nothing more. Um, and then we hope to start that this year and that it hope, it, uh, hope to continue it in the future. And this is a huge event. It takes about three blocks up of space. So can you just give us an idea of, of how massive this event is? Well, I'm standing in 59th Street. We actually took over uh, South 59th, uh, south of National Avenue. And again, we're gonna close from Holly Avenue all the way to 58th Street for the festival. The city of West Dallas has been phenomenal in getting uh, the permits to detour all the buses. We've got some brewer games in town this weekend. So when I first proposed this idea, they pretty much laughed and said, you're crazy. And then me and Dan Devine, the mayor of West Dallas got together and he was like, oh, this is gonna be fabulous. And and he was uh, part of the critical process to make it all happen in City Hall. So we thank him. Very nice. And admission is free, I understand. It is. But if you want to drink a beer, you got to buy a wristband. And that goes all, uh, all that money goes to the West Milwaukee Lions Club, along with a lot of the beer sales from the festival. So it is for a great cause. And yes, you can come and you can enjoy the street festival without paying anything. If you want to listen to live music and shop some of the local vendors that'll be here, we've got 20 local uh, artisan vendors that are going to bring crafts and pottery and uh, t-shirts and art, uh, jewelry, the whole nine yards. All right, we're talking about Oktoberfest in August. Thanks so much, Julian. We'll see you later. Love it.